What's going on guys? Today I've got a huge haul. Uh, I just got back from a little Comic Con um, in Maryland. That was about an hour drive for me and um, I got a really, really good call here. Um, spent 150 bucks total. I'll break down all the deals though. Um, got a big invincible key, one I've been hunting for for a while. So really happy to grab all this stuff. And uh, you know, I don't like to waste your time, so I'll get into it. This first deal was $20 total. So most of the deals are right around this. Um, these were all half off too, so pretty solid stack here. Get started. So uh, I got 10 of these $2 books, but they're all a dollar. Um, Dust Rick Terminator 46. Once you start getting later into the run, these uh, become a little more expensive. So I'm trying to put that together and got a, a few of these here. Also got number 50, which is the first, I think, uh, Black Hawk Man, which is pretty cool. It's like a $10 book. So for a buck, that's awesome. And then um, also grab number 52. So those are super cool. Also grab this detective. It's pretty beat, but 455 is early enough for a dollar. I'm grabbing that. And then this was a uh, demon number 14. Just knew I didn't have that one yet. And then this book, I, I had nine of the dollar issues, so I just wanted to throw one in there, make it an even 20. So got an ASM, probably a two dollar book. Also found this Ultimate Spider-Man. Sadly, only had one, but it was one I didn't have yet. So, 94. Then just grabbed a couple of these random Danger Girls. Like collecting her. So, a couple cool covers here. So, those are the $10 books. And then grabbed a couple of $10 books that were also 50% uh, off for 5 bucks. So... First up, got this cap, number 102. Pretty cool. This is the third book, I think, from when they come back in the Silver Age. I think it starts off at 100. So, it's pretty awesome. It's, you know, fairly beat. Um, not in amazing shape, but for $5, so that was awesome. And then this was the earliest Daredevil they had for 5 bucks. so grab that. 119. All right, then this next deal was uh, $25. It's 30 sticker. So just four books here. First up is Invincible number 80. I'm trying to put that run together as well, at least as much of it as I can. 97. Pretty cool bullet proof cover there. And then another pretty dope cover here, 104. So I got those three. And then I grabbed this book, Moon Knight, uh, Mark Spectre Moon Knight number 56. Obviously, obviously 55 and 57 are, are the big ones you want from this run, but this is still a Stephen Platt cover, pretty dope book. And for 15 bucks, I thought that was a, a great deal. This is probably a $25 book. And it's not like a crazy steal, but for something like this, something that I need and it sells consistently. It's a good deal. And then uh, this next guy here, I was pretty surprised what he had in his dollar bin. Um, I spent $25, I grabbed $10 books and a $15 book. Didn't negotiate this guy down. Um, yeah, it was a bunch of uh, new 52 Batman that I grabbed for a dollar. Uh, so number three, really early, it's my earliest copy. And that's uh that's on the uh there's a couple of these on all these Batman's that's on the uh, bag it's not on the book I made sure to pull it out uh, before I bought them so I got three four and five which I already had five but I wasn't leaving that for a dollar and then a couple of dope Joker covers here fifteen sixteen. And 17. So those are awesome. I'm really getting close to maybe not finishing that run. I probably got like 35 issues though. So we're slowly getting there. Then I grabbed this spawn number 84. I didn't even realize until I got back here. It's a newsstand, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that was a buck. That's an awesome pickup for a dollar. 
And I got these three Teen Titans goes. I don't really care about these. 27, 36, and 34. I don't know, I figured they were good deals for a buck. Maybe I can flip them, we'll see. So those were all a buck, and then this was $15. Captain America, number one, from the Ed Brubaker run. Still reading this, but if you follow my stuff, you know I love buying what I read, and this is one that I needed. So, just like New 52 Batman, Ultimate Spider-Man, trying to complete those runs. And that was a bigger key that I needed. All right, now this last deal. This was the biggest deal of the day. Spent $80 with this guy. Pretty cool stuff here. We'll start uh, with a couple of dollar books. So got Cap from Brubaker again, number 25 variant. It's the death of Captain America. Also got the boys, 42. And Ultimate Spider-Man number seven. So those are pretty cool for a dollar. I think sticker was 90, so I got it all for 80. Then these in bags were three bucks, but I knew I was gonna get a deal, so they all kind of came out to a dollar in my mind. Uh, Moon Knight number 26, this is from the Houston and the Benson run, 29. Then also got this uh, Vengeance of the Moon Knight number nine, J. Scott Campbell cover. This is like a 10, $15 book, so that's pretty dope. And then I grabbed one of these, Spawn number 75. I actually already have this. I bought this at the last show I was at for $3 as well. Um, but this is like a $20 book, so I'll try and flip that. You had a bunch of Spawns around that from like 50 to 80. I just didn't know what to buy, and I wanted to make sure I didn't spend all my money, so I just grabbed the one that I knew was good. Then I got this uh, Invincible number 45, second appearance of Anissa, book I didn't have yet. Um... But the big book, if you can guess from that one, is Invincible number 44. First appearance of Anissa. Uh, one of the bigger books from the run. Especially one of the bigger ones that I still needed. So super stoked to get this. Um, awesome, awesome book. One that's been on my list for a long time. Um, it's one of the biggest books I own. So yeah, I was really excited to get this. Um, but that's it for the show. Awesome way to cap it off. Um, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. And uh, stay tuned for the next one.